Good morning, everybody. It's Pumpkin. Um, we're on our way to work. It's Saturday, September 29th. And again, these are still really old um, things, but at the end of this, we're going to show you um, something that we received a little gift from uh, uh, one of our favorite um, subscribers is uh, Lucy Webb sent us this. So take a look. Make sure, make sure you watch the end of the video and see. I don't know what happened there, but that was dangerous. Yeah. Good morning, everybody. It is Saturday, September 29th, and we're here at work bright and early. Batman isn't here yet. He doesn't work Saturdays. But um, anyway, watch for the end. We've got a special unboxing of a present that we got from one of our um, friends, Lucy Webb. So let's see what she sent. Yeah. Hope you enjoy it. We're going to learn how to change a light bulb. Oh, you going to take me home tonight? Oh, down beside that red firelight Oh, you gonna let it all hang out Fat bottom girls, you make the rocking world go round Alright, uh, I'm in my bathing suit so I've gotta be wary of that mirror down there Ever have this happen? Okay, I got fluorescent lights I just changed the bulbs not long ago it's not wanting to come on. Now, it could be burned out bulb. It's not, because we just replaced them. So I am going to show you how I incorrectly put it in last time, apparently, that the connection sucks and it's not coming on. So let me fix this. Hold on, please. Let me start with this. Okay. We have like, I don't know, 10 foot ceiling, so I can't reach it from a step stool. I need a full blown ladder. Let me get up here. I know it's really dark in here, but this plastic cover, there's a, it says right here, let's see, pull here for lens removal, and then there's an arrow pointing outward, so pull that, it's on a hinge, okay, shitty hinge, but a hinge nonetheless, it doesn't want to go, but I think, okay, hang on. I'm gonna set you down. Here, stare at the stare at the wire rack for a second. I need two hands. Okay, yeah, so I just push that out and then I can tip. Push that out and then this side just comes down. Okay. Alright, so we'll just pull that out and um this is the time that you wash it if there's dead bugs. I just did this not long ago, so mine's clean. Look at that. Right, and set that down. All right, so there's two fluorescent tubes in here, and they should be okay because they're new. But the connection's sucky, apparently. So let's just, there we go. Something's wrong. I don't know what jack shit what I'm doing, but. Made that pretty clear. Okay. It's so dark in here, you can't see, but the tube has like two connections, you know, power in, power out, I'm guessing. I know a little bit about electrical. So just like a battery. And then this, you can't see it because it's dark. But you can see that those little pins... God, it won't focus. Hold on. Let me try autofocus. Okay, so the pins... You're going to have them lined north-south. Get it up in there and then twist to go around the little globey thing, I'm guessing. So my pins, I'm going to line them up north-south to get it through that slot. And I'm guessing at that point is when you start... Doing the around the world, but I, it's again, I'm guessing because I don't know what the hell I'm doing. But ladies, you should know how to do stuff like this for yourselves. And there, okay, so that's fixed. 
I feel like I need to draw this on paper. I wonder where that drawing pad thing is. But you've got... I'll have to draw it out later. Well, now that we've got light, I should be able to do this one. Oh, that one I just need to twist. Let's pull it out now. Now that we can see what we're doing, I'll explain what I did. Okay. <clears throat> so, you've got your tube. It has these two pins. So, obviously the other end of the tube, but I slid the pins up so that the top pin was in the top channel. And then I spun it like that. And then that's where the metal is, the connectors. So, obviously when I put it in the first time, not knowing what the frick I'm doing, either that or, you know, those sinkholes in Florida I wiggled it back loose. See, you know, we don't have earthquakes. We got sinkholes. You come home and your house is gone. All right. And twist there. And you can see these are, this one was with the house and my husband replaced everything with these nice bright ones, but he didn't do both my bulbs. I, I only got one new one. So, but I've been on one bulb for a while. Now we can see again, clean and clearly I did this recently because there's no dead bugs in there and then again now that we can see pull here for lens removal and it shows the arrow that way this is on a little bit of a spring okay and it just sits in this slot so you're going to sorry you're gonna slide that just in there come to this end push it up again one-handed and I'm gonna slide that little door out uh, god this is not easy I'm so sorry here we go got that up in there and then I gotta get again one hand oh my god seriously I can't get it because I only have one hand, but I will. There. Okay. Got it. All right. So again, I pulled that open and then just pulled straight down and the whole thing comes out. And then if you use two hands, oh, son of a bitch, look at what I just did. God dang it. Clearly not the best example, but oh, son of a bitch. Okay. Instant replay. Let's pull it out. Pull this out. That out. Give this a twist. What is your problem, you little effort? Come on. Come on. Get up in there. You can do it. Maybe it is a bad bulb. I don't know. I hear something rattling. Probably not supposed to rattle. So maybe I got a shitty bulb. I don't know. Maybe all the jostling I've done has compromised its integrity. Let's see here. Um, let's see. It's like it wants to light, but it's not sure if it trusts me with its life anymore. I don't think we have any more bulbs. So, son of a bitch. That sucks. Can you see anything wrong in there? Is there like a spider nest in the connection? Does it look okay? Looks okay. How about this one? Is there a spider nest in the connection? I don't know, it looks okay to me. I can't really see, let me zoom in a little. Oh, look, there's actual little notches. See, this is why cameras are nice. You get all up in there again. Okay, so there's an actual little, like, notch out. You can see in the metal where that's supposed to set. Come to a rest. Let's check this one out. Where are you? Here. Yep, okay. I wonder if I'm in the right spot on these. Can you see? Can you see up in there? Where is it? Um, there's the bulb. 
don't think you're going to be able to see in there. But it's lit, so. I actually am thinking about moving the dull bulb over because, ah, whatever. <sighs> but that rattling, it's not like an incandescent bulb, but I'm assuming that rattling means it's not good. Let's see here. These, I don't know. One last try. Oh, see this? Okay, let me zoom out because you're just like... I know, you're sitting there rolling your eyes. Going, what the frick? Why do I watch this channel? I can feel it's in that little groove, but it doesn't want to light up. So I'm guessing I got a bad bulb. Son of a bitch, and I'm not, I'm not taking a field trip today. Shit. Oh, look, there's something in there, right there. You can see it wiggling around in there. Something's loose. Okay, so it's a bad one. We'll take it out, leave the cover off so it'll annoy me, and I'll nag my husband next to me. He's at the home improvement store to pick me up a new bulb. Oh, almost fell off the ladder. Careful, girls. Guys, everybody. Okay. So we'll um we'll trigger his OCD by like leaving that on, you know, his couch and then he'll go get me one. So. And I will just keep that in here for now to remind me. I switched the laundry, we're doing the sheets today, and so um, that's the end of that one. I don't know when I'll do this. I'm going to put together probably s several, so I'm going to give myself permission to put, post these out of order on how to fix shit around your house, um, but at least I have some light now, so there we go. Uh, I think that's it. I'll just create a file put these all together till we have like full full length recording okay moving on to the next thing okay I figured I'd check the light bulb cabinet what's that up there what is that is that is that one okay I, I, I'm not tall enough The right size? I think it is. Okay. Here's where we keep our light bulbs. Okay. We did the whole house in LED to save money. He says it's working. Oh, and I we have two rolling pins, so I'm, I'm stealing this one. I don't know what's going on there. I have no idea. What did he need batteries for? This is what you're looking for with fluorescence, F20 T12. F20 T12, yes, sweet. I'll still leave that there so he knows to buy more backup ones. And we need sour cream. And this, put that in Netflix, it's funny stuff, I guess, I don't know. I don't know what that is. Don't, don't call them, I gotta, I gotta, gotta, cover that up now. I'm going to have to edit that out. So, let's go change that light bulb. Oh, not that one. Hold on. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to take the new one out of the box and give him the box so that he doesn't have to carry the bulb into the store. He could technically just cut this out or write it on a piece of paper, but that won't happen. So
Gosh darn it. I don't know what that is. I don't know who that is, sorry. I don't I don't know how to spell fluorescent. There it is. Should I write it in that? I don't know what that is, but don't call them. I don't know who that is. Oh my goodness, okay. Hey honey, yeah. I'm using the last of our fluorescent bulbs. Do you want me to just save the box or the bulb for you to get more? The bulb. All right, I'm going to put the bulb in the box so that it's not going to fall out and hit the floor and smash. Okay. Safety first. Okay. So this one's the bad one. Otherwise, they would end up rolling off the counter and smashing. So this one's... This one is... Because he'll forget. He's concentrating. Bad bulb. Naughty. Okay. Um, so this is now mine for the craft room and change that bulb again. Try this again. Okay, we're back. Let's, let's do this again. never realized I was such a heavy breather until I started carrying a camera around with me. Okay, there we go. Oh, look, apparently these are the new ones, the yellow. The white is the old kind. There we go. Give it a little... I don't know, are you not supposed to touch the bulb? I don't know. Is that what I screwed up? I touched the bulb and burned it out? I don't know. Okay, we already did this, so I'm not going to try and do that one-handed again. Voila! I can see. Yay. I like hats. Do you like hats? This was my winter hat. My husband always said I looked like a Russian bride. This one's a little dusty, but I really liked this one too. This has nothing to do with home repair improvement, so... Um, if I needed more closet space, though, I could s easily put another whole level up here. I don't, I'm not a, I'm not a clothes horse. I'm not a girly girl. I don't get into my wardrobe, so I have, um, I know for some people this is probably a lot, and for other people this is like, that's what I take on vacation, so it's just not, it's not my thing. That was a dress that I kept from when I was a little girl. I love it. It reminds me of Alice in Wonderland. Um, so you can see, I like Alice in Wonderland. And um, I was second grade, seven years old, and wore that to a birthday party. And I was overdressed big time. All the other girls were in t-shirts and jeans, and my mom dressed me. I've told you that before. My mom dressed me until I was in high school, and you can see she got into, you know, the cute little outfits and stuff, which is fine, except that I was a total nerd because of it. So, anyway. Always be careful with ladders. Hold on. I was a painting contractor. I had my own painting company for years, and it takes one misstep just not paying attention and you are in big big trouble so always be careful with the ladder okay i'm gonna 
take that downstairs. So again, we're done. That's that's it for now. All right, I found this picture. This was the one um, I hung there. I found it on the floor. My uh, little jerry rig gave loose. Okay, so FYI, don't try this at home. So I need to redo this, um, fix that. So warning, warning Will Robinson. I will post a warning on the original video as well. Um, this side was starting to come up too. So now how can I do this so that I don't need to worry about it? If I had a staple gun, I would use that. I don't have one. My husband does. I could use that. Um, for now, and the reason it did that, I'm sure, is because when I hung it, I said keep your shiny side outside. And then when I hung it, I noticed I didn't have the shiny side out. So I pulled it off and stuck it back down to fix it, which means I've released and stuck down my duct tape again. And I'm sure lost some of its adhesion doing that. So I am going to retape this and... Um, if I can find his staple gun, put a couple staples in it too. You know, extra secure security. And I don't know. This is bouncing. Let's see if that's showing now through there. Uh, a little bit, but on the wall, I don't think you'll notice. But I could keep that down. So hold on. Okay. So this side, I just looped under here because this is already nailed in made my knot nice and big so it's not going to pull out okay then i retaped with my duct tape and again this could be my duct tape is like the kind that doesn't leave residue so it's probably not the sticky 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 stuff and i don't care about the back because this was like some crap frame um this side isn't sticking up but i could tape that as well all the way around I'm going to put another piece of tape here just so that I have duct tape on duct tape. And I'm thinking maybe. We'll see. I don't know. Hold on. All right. And I've made sure I'm shiny on the outside this time. So, you know, with any kind of ribbon, you've got one side that's like shiny and one that's not so shiny. Some are pretty shiny on both sides, but I want the shiny side out. And then I hung it on a, at a calendar here. So I just have a thumb pack in my wall. I didn't go whole hog with a nail. But um, shiny side out. And I'll have, this is my thumb tack. I want my shiny side twisting over the, I guess it doesn't really matter, over the top or not on the thumbnail without thumb tack. But I want to make sure that my shiny side stays out on both so this over here should really get my tripod but i'm not and then it's gonna be a little bit shorter than last time which is good because i actually felt like it was hanging too low and i don't want to put another hole in the wall by moving the thumbtack so i just want to make sure that i'm even here i'll line it up on the crack on my table so that's intersecting at the crack, and I'm pretty well straight, intersecting at the crack, there we go. Now I'm going to tape the living piss out of this, okay, hold on, okay, it no longer has living piss, so tape, 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 and I even folded the nub, if you remember, I knotted it so that it wouldn't pull, slide out. Um, I folded the knot back over the top and taped that down, making sure I don't go past my frame at all. And now I'm ready to hang. Now, the other reason I like hanging things on cords, you can find nails that are kind of pretty or whatever, um, rather than just the, the, here I'll show you. I mean, I've got just, that's just like, I don't know, drywall nail or some shit. It's not even like a nice nail. Um, but 
we didn't have any nice nails in hand, but you could get a nice nail or a pretty thumbtack, um, depending on your walls. Again, be very careful, guys. Um, but if you don't like the height, you just shorten your ribbon and you can change, shorten or lengthen your ribbon, you can change the height. So let's just get that hung up. And I am gonna go shiny down. See what I meant about whether I'm gonna go around that way or that way. I'm gonna go shiny down and get that hung up and get out of view. There we go. Don't look at me. Don't look at me. I'm in my bathing suit. I mean, I'm, I'm brave, but I don't want to be that brave. Okay, there we go. Now, when I was a kid, the standard was to hang everything at eye level, which, you know, I'm 5'5", five, five, and my husband's, I'm 5'4", sorry, 5'4", 5'3", 5'2", I don't know, I, I'm shrinking. I actually am. I went to the doctor, and I'd lost three quarters of an inch in the last 10, 15 years. Anyway, um, so, yeah, that's a... There's a big difference between 5'4 and 6 feet, 8 inches of what eye level means. And then it seemed like for a while things were like chest level. So whatever you want. I still go with eye level. But the first time I hung that, it was like 2 inches lower than it is now. But for me, that's eye level. For my husband, it would have been, you know, nipples. So um, here we go. It's hung back up. Hopefully it won't fall again. I'm really lucky that glass didn't break. But I know now that if it did... Go to Dollar Tree, buy another frame with the same size piece of glass for a dollar. Mm, easy. Okay. All right. And, um, okay, so I'm going to move on with my day. Okay, I have a package. I have a package in purple, pretty purple package. I'm going to open it. I'm trying not to show addresses. So give me a moment. Okay. There's a card. Please do not bend. Bend. All right. Let's see what this says. Open. 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 Oh my God. Look at how cute. It's a little piggy with little galoshes on. Oh, look at that. They found a Caton de Tullier magnet. Inquisitive, extremely slow. Excuse me, slow. That's me. Inquisitive, extremely sociable, happy, clownish, loves games and snuggling. It's a little Caton de Tullier magnet. That is wonderful. Okay. Dear Wendy, well, here it is, Lucy's masterpiece. She was so pleased to be able to make it for you, and uh, what does that say? Oh, thrilled, sorry. I, I don't have my glasses on. It's not handwriting, it's my glasses. Um, and so thrilled to be sending something all the way to Florida. I couldn't get her to sign it, unfortunately. Anyway, I think it's so pretty good for a nearly 11 year old keep on with the youtubing love your channel and it's great to be able to chat a little too sending love and hugs from the uk heather and lucy um let's see here oh and p.s we hope you also like your little fridge magnet i love the little fridge magnet okay so lucy made this for me because i was <clears throat> talking about um my, uh, she was saying that my binder doesn't have a cover sheet on it, and Lucy wanted to make me one. So let's see what she did. Oh my goodness. Look at this. Gone off my meds, and she's got all my favorite colors. The teal, and the purple, and the green, and we've got the little unicorn, and she knows I love cake, and ice cream. And there we have jasmine, and I love peacocks, and of course, I love coffee, and I love, love, love this. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Lucy. I absolutely love this, and this will take a uh, crowned spot on the front of my channel binder. 
and I will think of you every single time I open up my binder. So I really, really, really love it, Lucy. You did a great job. I so appreciate it. Thank you so much, sweetie. It is beautiful. You did a fantastic job. And I can't even believe how well all of these are drawn and colored and everything. I mean, it's absolutely amazing. I mean, look at that. It is gorgeous. All the detail. I mean, look at this little cake. That is awesome. Even the little happy ice cream cones. This is absolutely gorgeous. Thank you so much, sweetie. Really appreciate it. Love you, honey. So, I hope that you enjoyed learning how to change a light bulb and um, especially enjoyed seeing what Lucy made for the binder. Thank you very much, Lucy. Really appreciate it. And uh, I hope to see you all real soon.